Well guys, here this morning we got some shocking information. Berkshire Hathaway, which is Warren Buffett's company, has been buying Amazon stock, okay? Now to understand this love fest between Warren Buffett and Amazon, you have to go back to about two years ago. About two years ago, Warren Buffett started to speak on Amazon a bit. He praised Jeff Bezos at that time. He said the only reason he hadn't purchased Amazon shares yet was in his quote, stupidity, okay? That is unbelievable. That was the first time we really heard, heard you know, Warren Buffett say super positive things about Amazon, Jeff Bezos in general, and it was like, Wow, that's pretty interesting. Stupidity is how he put it, and why he hadn't bought Amazon shares, okay? Then we go fast forward about another year. So right around this time last year, Warren Buffett on Amazon's cloud success, he says, you don't wanna give Jeff Bezos a seven year head start, okay? He said, I've never seen any person develop two really important industries at the same time and really be the operational guy in both, okay? And so all these comments kind of got us thinking, is is, is Warren Buffett maybe interested in buying some Amazon stock at some point in time? Because, well, these, these comments are so overwhelmingly positive coming out of Buffett in regards to not only Amazon, the company, but Jeff Bezos. It's kind of like amazing, right? And then here today, we get information that Berkshire Hathaway has been buying shares of Amazon stock. Once and for all, the news officially breaks, okay? Berkshire Hathaway has been buying Amazon stock, but some interesting stuff stuff comes out here about this, okay? Berkshire Hathaway has been buying shares of Amazon, but Warren Buffett isn't the one behind the purchases. This is a quote from Warren Buffett here. One of the fellas in the office that managed money bought some Amazon, so it will show up in the 13F later this month. Buffett told CNBC, Thursday evening, okay, the basically Berkshire's annual shareholders meeting is about to start in Omaha. Buffett was referring to either Todd or Ted, who each managed portfolios of more than $13 billion in equities for Berkshire. Buffett has long been a fan of Amazon and CEO Jeff Bezos, as we just spoke about, okay. He said, yeah, I've been a fan and I've been an idiot for not buying Amazon shares, Buffett said. But I want you to know it's not personality changing, taking flavor. Okay, now this is this is this is crazy, guys. This is honestly crazy, and it kind of makes you think: Is Warren Buffett is is Warren Buffett maybe interested in potentially buying some Amazon stock here down the road for his own accounts? You know, you just kind of got to think about that. Maybe Buffett could actually start buying uh, on the behalf of Berkshire Hathaway. Okay, now Amazon they just reported some shocking earnings. Okay, those earnings were unreal. Amazon reported last week. I covered it here on the channel. Those earnings, in my opinion were by far the best earnings I've seen reported in the entire earnings season. The, the profit explosion that's happening, with, like literally they doubled up EPS year over year, over doubled up EPS year over year. Like the profits are just exploding for Amazon right now. The how well that business is just turning right now is unreal, okay? If we look at Amazon, it's obviously an expensive business for Berkshire Hathaway or Warren Buffett at all to be involved with, obviously. Trailing P of 81 on this company, a forward PE of 51. One. And I think this kind of shows, you know, between, uh, you know, Buffett personally buying Apple shares and also it was either Todd or Ted was also buying Apple shares a few years ago. Between that move and now Amazon start to be purchased in Berkshire Hathaway, it just kind of shows that Berkshire is changing and it's changing in the better for my personal opinion. Because here's the thing, Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's company has historically bought, you know, uh, I guess you could say like boring type businesses like, like Gillette and, and you know, the, the, the tissue makers, you know, Procter and Gamble and some of those type of companies, right? Johnson and Johnson, uh, railroad companies, and those type of businesses are, are, you know, kind of boring businesses at the end of the day. And, and those businesses have very limited growth, right? But what we see with a lot of tech companies, a lot of these companies' growth is almost limitless, and the moats around these businesses are unbelievable. And so if you're not gonna purchase any of these tech stocks, you're honestly just leaving yourself in a very vulnerable situation situation moving forward, okay? And we got to think about what does Buffett need with companies, okay? What is it, what are the types of things he needs with a company? He needs huge companies to purchase, you know, market caps at least 50 plus billion dollars. 
if not hundreds of billions of dollars. And obviously with that one right off the bat, there's only a limited amount of companies that have you know market caps in the hundreds of billions of dollars. It's a very select few, okay? So if you're looking for those type of companies to buy stock in, you, your list is already very limited. And then if you take the, some of these big tech companies out, then your list is extremely limited, right? He's looking for profitable businesses, you know, businesses that make a lot of money on their bottom line, have very positive net incomes and hopefully net incomes that are going up. Number three, he's looking for companies with moat. And you think about some of these giant tech companies, they have unbelievable moats around their business like, like we haven't really seen in the modern era. This is in the tech, this is in the tech bubble back when, you know, Buffett was, you know, starting to get into, you know, thinking about tech stocks back in the late 90s and early 2000s when a lot of these companies were just ideas and they had no moats around them. A lot of these big tech companies now have moats like we have never seen around business models before. And uh, it's just, it, the, the whole industry has changed massively over the last 15 to 20 years. He's looking for companies with great management teams, executive management teams, great CEOs. And where are you gonna find some of the best CEOs in the world, some of the best executive teams in the entire world to run these companies? In the tech industry, because that's where the action is at. And so you're looking at Berkshire Hathaway right in front of our eyes really start to change. And in my opinion, change for the better. I think Berkshire Hathaway's growth has been limited over the last 10 to 20 years, mainly because Buffett just has not seen, you know, so many of these great tech companies come Coming up in the game and that's fine there's still plenty of if you said I'm not gonna buy any you know tech related companies you can still make money in the stock market and you can still make money in business but the amount of money you can make is gonna be limited and I think Berkshire Hathaway over the last 10 years or so has been very limited from some of these unbelievable companies have that have come on the come up basically over the last 10 years because of just the lack of, of a Buffett understanding some of these companies or just refusing to buy them because they are tech related and uh, I think this is just a the Berkshire changing for the better. Like imagine a world where you can't buy some of these stocks. Imagine a world where you can't buy Amazon stock, right? The company that, you know, is completely dominating retail, the retail landscape with e-commerce and completely dominating, obviously, the cloud in the business space, right? Imagine not being able to buy Amazon stock. Qualcomm, one of the biggest semiconductor companies in all the world. Like imagine not being able to buy that company. Alibaba, the giant out of China. Imagine not being able to buy uh, Alibaba because it's tech related. Microsoft. Facebook, Google, Apple, NVIDIA, look at these companies I just put on this list here. I could have put a lot more. All these companies are massive. All these companies are at least 50 billion plus dollars in market cap. Most of these on this list are several hundred billion dollars in market cap, which are honestly perfect for Warren Buffett's company and Warren Buffett personally to start buying with the Berkshire Hathaway funds. They're perfect because he can literally start buying these shares, accumulating these stocks, and a lot of times it won't even push up the price, okay? What else do these companies have in common? They're all extremely profitable companies and the moats around these businesses are unreal. If you look at the moats around these businesses, it's not like they can just be disrupted overnight, okay? It's not like, like if you look at Amazon, it's not like everybody's just gonna magically go shopping on some other site tomorrow. No, it's not going to happen, okay? Qualcomm, you know, unbelievable competitive mode around that. Alibaba, same exact deal. Microsoft, Facebook, it's not like a billion plus people are going to magically go to some other social network tomorrow and Instagram is going to become irrelevant. Like, it just doesn't work like that. Google, I mean, think about Google search. Like, how many people just use Google search, like, intuitively? They Like, if you're thinking about searching something, you don't even think. You're like, oh, let me, let me go on my Google app. Let me search whatever I need to search. YouTube, like, I would much rather give up, a, you know, a a certain brand of toilet paper, or a certain brand of, of to, uh, paper towels, or a certain brand of a razor rather than give up my YouTube. Believe me on that. Apple, think about Apple. Like the competitive moat that's around that business and you know, the, the customer base that is around Apple. You know, the people like myself that would, you know, would, uh, it doesn't matter what other smartphone comes out. I'm buying the new, uh, the Apple one at the end of the day. That's what I love. That's what I enjoy. That's what the, I know the software so well. Like it works with all my other devices. Like the, the competitive moat around the business is amazing. Nvidia, like look at the amazing things Nvidia is doing with that company. So if you if you can't buy tech companies, you're just missing out on a ridiculous amount of opportunities on such great business models, such great management teams at these companies. So I think Berkshire is really in a place now where they're changing. The business is really starting to change, and it's changing for the better. You've got to open yourself up to these opportunities because they're just massive in front of the company. Okay, and uh, it makes me kind of think of there's a scene in Scarface movie. Okay, where the, they're about 
about to shoot Frank and, 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 and you know, Frank's kind of pleading for his life. He's like, don't, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. And, and Tony's like, I won't shoot you, but he will. And that guy ends up shooting him. It uh, kind of makes me think, is this a situation where Warren Buffett really wanted to buy Amazon stock? But for whatever reason, either because of valuation purposes, or maybe just he doesn't want to put his name behind it, or something that he personally will not do the deed of, of purchasing the Amazon stock. Is this a situation like that? Because I can guarantee you, if Warren Buffett had any issue with Todd or Ted purchasing those Amazon shares, he's still the king at that company. He'd say, no, you're, you're not purchasing those shares, or hey, you purchase those, sell those shares off. I don't want to be, I don't want you to purchase those shares. He's obviously not saying that in this situation, which is kind of like, well, if it's not a no, then it's a yes, right? It's kind of like you ask your mom to go to the movies, and if she doesn't say no, then oh, we, I guess we can go to the movies in the end, right? So in my personal opinion, uh, Warren Buffett is very interested in Amazon stock. It's, it's clear as day. It's just maybe he doesn't want, maybe it's not at the valuation, especially if you look at the PE metrics, maybe it's not that valuation that he wants to personally put his name behind it, but he's all for this, guys. And I wouldn't be surprised if, if, if you know, uh, Berkshire keeps buying Amazon stocks over the next, you know, coming months or maybe even coming years just because they're so far in front of so many companies. And it's one of those stocks, even though the valuation's high, that's a hard stock not to make money in over the next five to 10 years because their profitability is just going up at a massive, massive rate. It's 100 plus percent year over year. Even if it slows, what's it slow to next year? 75%, 50%, and then 40%? It, like the, still, the growth is ridiculous at that company. It should be for years to come in the future, guys. So anyways, let me know what your opinion is on Berkshire Hathaway and Warren Buffett, you know, starting to buy Amazon stock. I want to hear from you guys in that comment section as always. Do you own Amazon stock? Is this stock you're interested in or not? I want to hear from you guys as always. Thank you for watching have a great day.